Yesterday I received very, very interesting complaint on my YouTube channel. Not it's the first time, it's about fifth or sixth time somebody trying to pull down my video we've made. This one comes from Council of Better Business Bureau, about our latest video that been watched every day by uh, hundreds of people. And what they're claiming that we are, Roofing Insights, the company is inappropriately using our accredited business seal on their video while making false claim against our organization. I did send email to them already asking them what false claims they are uh, talking about. And if I find it reasonable, I, I would love to review it, edit it and re-upload it to YouTube video. I don't think I'm wrong. So in this video, I'm gonna share the entire story what we disagree with the Better Business Bureau about their business model and more importantly about their ranking system because we've been fighting them for over two years now, actually almost three years since I first made a video about their algorithm and can we trust it. So today I have a couple businesses uh, as a case study. My pillow and home advisor will be the pillars of the case study and I'll throw a couple more businesses just to prove a couple points. But I'm going to talk about algorithm of nonprofit BBB and uh, I'll show you how biased it is while they're trying to uh, prove to the world that it's unbiased opinion. Thanks guys so much for coming. So we've been already covering for two years Home Advisor um, rating on BBB how unfair it is and it's absolutely guys crazy we've been making so many videos while we would take their complaints and read it out loud so i actually have been calling home advisors since august asking them why they stopped publishing uh, their complaints so right now you can see that home advisor in the last 12 months have received 543 complaints it's pretty much 1.48 one and a half complaint a day but the thing is BBB stopped reporting on Home Advisor, so you you can see that there is a complaint. You can see the number, uh, you can see the one star, you can see how many negative reviews they have, but you cannot see the actual rating, actual review. It says like review complaint is not available. We also do know for a fact that Home Advisor is paying BBB. So for the last two years, I have been trying to contact top-rated officials of BBB to answer to get answer to question about their algorithm, what kind of algorithm they have for big corporations. Who is refusing to return my phone calls. You guys have eight pages of complaints that complaint details is unavailable to the public. Because we know for a fact, small business can get grounded fast if he receives complaints, but big businesses never gets punished. So all your insurance companies, Best Buys, Home Advisors, Angels List, they all A rated companies. And this is interesting uh, fact right here. Home Advisor been recently sued by state of California and also there is a class action lawsuit going on against Home Advisor. Guess what? Home Advisor on BBB has no mentions about it. BBB does not make even a comment. Here's a quick, quick case study. So you have my pillow company with a 1500 employees and you have home advisor company with a 2000 employees. They're very similar. They're multi-million dollar companies. They sell tons of uh, different product, but tons of products. So for example, uh, my pillow have sold 41 million pillows, right? Numbers matter because BBB keep telling us for all these years that they don't look at the big business like they look at the small business. So you, even if you receive complaint today, but you're a big business, they can justify giving you A. Well, here's what happened with the my pillow. My pillow went from A plus to F. The only complaints they were getting is their false advertising, which is, by the way, I found already not taking place. I called my pillow myself. Sure. Yeah, the only place you can get the premium pillow is through us directly. Okay, and it's buy one, get one free. That's correct. What I do see that on, on BBB, my pillow has 473 reviews, three stars which is really good, way higher than Home Advisor, Angels List, and all of those companies with one stars, all insurance companies, all the companies who actually gets complained. They also only received 60 complaints in the last 12 months. So you're talking about a company who sells millions of product and they get 60 complaints per year. It's once a week where Home Advisor gets one and a half a day and they maintain A minus. 
I mean, what is going on here? Well, pretty much I can tell you right now, my pillow is not pain BBB and Home Advisor is pain. We also know that uh, in 2010, California BBB got expelled from BBB uh, by accrediting Hamas organization, I believe. Officials there are accused in a pay to play scandal, giving higher ratings to businesses that paid for memberships. This after a blogger created a fictional business he called the Hamas Militant Organization. The BBB of Los Angeles gave the terror group an A minus rating after the blogger paid the bureau hundreds of dollars. So pretty much terrorist group also got A minus and parent company or BBB you know, corporate say no, this is, cannot be and the biggest organization there got expelled. So when I read that, I'm like, wow, what's happening here? Why don't you have an algorithm to protect you? And here's what I can tell you. Looking at BBB closely for the last two and a half years, I don't believe there is any algorithm. I just don't believe it. there's no algorithm. It's a humans who is looking at the numbers on a daily basis. How would I know? Because I pay BBB for my business and they never ask me my sales, how many jobs I have. So for example, if, if I have a roofing business and I do, let's say, 5,000 roofs a year or 5,000 projects and somebody does only 100 and I get a complaint and he gets complained, well, it's not the same complaint because I do 500% more business than other company does right next to me, right? Well, yes and no. BBB doesn't ask us about our true volume, so they cannot plug those numbers in their accreditation. As a matter of fact, there's been one company in Chicago and a lot of people have reached to me saying, Demisha, this is really bad company. They're a pretty big player, but they were scamming a lot of people and they had A plus rating on BBB. So I called my local BBB uh, rep and I asked him his, this question. I said, listen, you want me to be accredited and I'm willing to pay for accreditation, six, 700 bucks, whatever it costs, but how can I compete with other A plus rated businesses when they have hundreds of complaints? I've never had a complaint and we both have A plus. Well, he did research. They got in touch with the Chicago BBB. Three days later, they downgraded that business there. Sorry, a roofing company out of Chicago didn't want to do it to you, but I just was asking a question. It looks like when it's manually reviewed, it can be downgraded. So in case of my pillow, the same thing. It went from A to F overnight over there uh, the only complaints they have it's a false advertising buy one get one free on the better business bureau you have these two lines when you open them up and it's pretty much the same thing on august 23rd 2016 bbb contacted my pillar regarding ongoing buy one get one free offer advertised nationally on their website specifically bbb noted that offer while advertised in limited location was promotional uh, code specific to the advertising blah blah and then second one pattern of complaint bbb files indicate that this business has a pattern of complaints concerning ongoing buy one get one free. so pretty much the same complaint two huge uh, reviews i mean you do have three star rating you only have 250 closed in the last three years 16 last 12 and you have f you have also home advisor company. I mean, this company has class action laws so that it's not even mentioned on BBB. And when I first read about it, I'm like, you have class action laws so that you can Google and you can see 600 pages of a pending class action and there's no mentions of it. Why is that? And here's why. In the report of class action, you can actually see an, uh, <clears throat> under number 150 out of like 360 points. Point 150, former employee A, this is court document from class action lawsuit against Home Advisor, stating former employee A who almost exclusively dealt with the complaints that have been filed with the BBB confirmed that Home Advisor could retain its positive rating as long as it could show that it affirmatively reached out to, to the complainants in an attempt to resolve the issue, but that resolution was not required to close the complaint. So here you have it. This is course document against Home Advisor mentioning BBB and yet BBB would not even mention. So they would mention twice that my pillow false advertise that's no longer even offered, 
but Home Advisor with the current pending class action lawsuit with also state of California suing them with a 1.5 complaints a day. My pillow has no government actions. My pillow has no class action lawsuits. My pillow has way less advertising complaints. So think about this. People rating this company on BBB with the three stars and BBB gives them F. Now this company definitely by review so far way better. We've been in business longer, has millions of transactions has a little bit less employees, 1,500 versus 2,000 employees, but you have overall rating F versus A minus. How is it fair? Well, here's what you need to know. This company does not pay BBB uh, to be accredited, and this company does. BBB would not comment. What they, they did tell us in a recorded line that they are taking money from Home Advisor, but they would not tell us how much, and that to me explains their algorithm because there is no human logic can be applied to any of the numbers you see to justify the algorithm. As a business owner myself, I don't understand how BBB can claim to be nonprofit because uh, I know my business have paid them last year over $5,000 to advertise there. I've never had a beef with them, never have any misagreements. We never receive a single complaint. We've been in business for over five years, but I lost trust in BBB myself because I see contractors with horrible ratings who still gets A plus. And I see really good contractors who have been in business five, 10 years, get to receive one review and goes all the way down. Why? Because there's no algorithm. There's no math behind the scenes. Their process, it's a human um, analytics. It's, you call them and say, hey, review this business. They review it two days later, there's downgrade or upgrade. That's why terrorist organizations were able to go in on BBB, pay a couple hundred bucks and get A minus. So obviously if terrorist organization in 2010 for a couple hundred bucks could maintain, you know, A minus company like Home Advisor has billions they can pay a couple million dollars and pretty much doesn't, doesn't matter if they deal with the complaints, they don't deal with the complaints, they have one star rating or have a star rating, they still know they'll get A minus. Here's my message to BBB lawyers or counsel or CEO, I don't know who's watching it at the BBB. I challenge you to answer those questions. I would like to go on the stage for public debate with you to talk about your numbers, your algorithm. If you call Google right now, Google can explain their algorithm. If you call Home Advisor, they probably can explain their algorithm or Facebook or anybody else. I guarantee you, you don't have algorithm. You will not publicly speak about it. And you are not a nonprofit company. If you're taking money from corporations and you blindly giving them high ratings, you are biased. I'm sorry. BBB, you no longer have my trust. This is my opinion. In my opinion, you are for profit and you are the algorithm. BBB is the algorithm. There's no computer behind the scenes. There's no secret formula. It's pretty much pay to play like it used to be in 2010. Because if you would have algorithm, you would not be expelling your own organization for not following your algorithm. Algorithm's algorithm. Guys, let me know what com in comments below what you think. I personally invite any BBB official go on the stage with me and give me an interview, go public debate. I don't care. I'll come to your office, but only one condition. Cameras have to be rolling. We'll go live. Let me know what you think in comments below. If you agree or don't agree, uh, I'm not sure about my other video. Uh, I will definitely fight for it to stay uh, on YouTube because I believe in freedom of speech and um, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the topic today in comments below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.